Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is Sources and Uses of Proteins. Now proteins are present all around us in our vegetables, in meat, in egg and so many other things. Now there is a chart in which I have mentioned that how much amount of protein is present in different products and different vegetables. Like spinach contain 49% protein, cauliflower 40%, cucumbers 24%, tomatoes 18%. So don't you think that salad is very important for us to get protein? Now the kale, mushrooms, green pepper, beef, broccoli, parsley, cabbage and our very own eggs. All have protein in them. Now, with the help of this chart, you can easily measure that which vegetable can give us more protein and more beneficial for us in the terms of proteins. Why protein is important? Proteins make up more than 50% of the dry weight of animals. So, they are very important. Each protein has its source and carries out a specific function. A very common and a very important protein which we use in our body are enzymes. As a science student, you all are very familiar with the name of enzymes. They used to carry out different functions in the body with more speed. They increase the speed of the reaction. So here we go with the different functions and uses of proteins. Now proteins can be get from two ways. It can be a plant protein or it can be an animal protein. Animal proteins are very important. We get them from meat. It can be mutton chicken or fish and eggs as well. These are used as food by human beings and they are very essential for the formation of protoplasm. And the protoplasm is a very important part of our cell. So if cells are healthy, we are healthy. So that's why animal protein is very necessary. Now in enzymes, proteins that are produced by living cells, they catalyze the chemical reactions taking place in the bodies. The word catalyze means to carry out, means that the reactions will be carried out with the help of enzymes. But for enzymes, we use the word catalyze. They are highly specific and have extraordinary efficiency. Highly specific means that every enzyme is particular for its own function. Like lock and key model, a very important model which we use to discuss in enzymes. Every lock has its own key. We can't open any lock with any key. A specific key can open a specific lock. In the same way, enzymes are particular for their own functions. They have their own active sites and according to them, substrates will come and join with them. Many enzymes are used as drugs. They control the bleeding and treat blood cancer. So enzymes are very important. They are very helpful in our digestion. Like if we don't have enzymes in our body, we will not able to digest our food in, in the same day. It can take years to digest the food without enzymes. So how are we able to get the energy if we will not digest the food? Enzymes are very important as they help in digesting the food in the same day in some hours and give energy to our body. 
and they are made up of proteins. So that's why proteins are very important. Hides are proteins. In simple words, I will say animal skin. These are used to make leather by tanning. And leather is used to make shoes, jackets and sport items. Now the proteins are found in bones as well. And when bones are heated, they give gelatin. And gelatin is used to make bakery items. You are able to see these beautiful pictures in different colors. Now it's time to move towards plant proteins. Plant proteins such as pulses, beans and so many other food like this. We use the simple term cereals. And these cereals are the basic source of plant protein. By this lecture, we can easily understand that we can take protein from animals as well as from plants. But why protein is important? Protein is very important in human body for the maintenance and growth. It helps in biochemical reactions, act as messengers to carry out messages, provide structure and maintains proper pH of the body. So, enzymes and different types of proteins which are present in our body control different functions of the body. It balances fluids in the body. Protein boosts up the immune system. And we all know that better immune system will increase our health and protect us from different infectious diseases. It transports and stores nutrients. And last, but not the least, proteins provide energy to the body. So proteins are very important for human body. We can get it from plants as well as from animals. In this video, I have discussed that from where we get protein and what are the uses of proteins. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.